is the Glass Cannon Network. Welcome, scoundrels, back to Duskfall, the city of ghosts, a haunted city, if you will. My name is Jared Logan. I am your game master for another edition of Haunted City, where we play Blades in the Dark, the excellent tabletop role-playing game by John Harper, Sean Nittner, and Evil Hat Studios, uh, the greatest role-playing game written in the last 20 years. And I want to welcome you all and my players To today's session, my players, of course, are talented actors, improvisers, voice actors, and streamers. Please welcome (laughs) uh, the amazing Ross Bryant, Abu Salim, and Josephine McAdam. Hello, players. What up? (laughs) Hey. Hello. Time to get into a Victorian mode, right? Mm, Let's let's kind of start to, Mm. you know... Uh, adjust ourselves to a Victorian way of life. Mm. Uh, uh. Not cars, carriages, mm. um, uh, mm-hmm. really uh, corsets. Josephine, need to think about corsets. Oh, yeah. Also, no. the boys, maybe can you can think, think about, about corsets exactly. too. Boys, yeah. Yeah. Corsets. In corsets in this yeah. world, please. Yeah. I think Valkos is in a corset. Just say so no. That's yeah. canon now, Joe. In in this version of Dustfall, men wear corsets. It's a regular thing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. So imagine yeah. us all walking around wasp wasted. My waist is already small. Yeah. Y'all need Damn. corsets. Yeah. Oh, okay. Don't front we going there? Okay. That's true. <laughs> like, that's, that's where we are. <laughs> and uh, what are some other Victorian things? Um, be, oh, uh, bicycles. Bicycles. bicycles with Disease. big wheels. Shit. Yeah, yeah, sure, this is better. than Shitting in a bucket. That's a good cholera. one, Abu. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I think. There we go. <laughs> Cholera, um, which kind of relates to shitting in a bucket, I think. What about uh, painting yourself with lead? Right, that's what they used to do oh, back in the that, day, right? They they they'd color themselves with like white lead in order to look prettier, <laughs> and it would cause all sorts of cancers. Yeah, that's something. Yeah, yeah. Life expectancy <clears throat> low. Mm, low yeah, life expectancy, yeah. uh, especially in Duskfall, a city of yeah. the dead. I mean, it's not. It's not literally our Victorian England. It's uh, <laughs> it's sort of a, another universe, thank goodness another for that. world. Uh, arguably, arguably worse uh, because it's surrounded by a wasteland of ghosts, and uh, and ghosts are a part of everyday life uh, in the city. So uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, it feels like our Victorian era had more racism. So maybe Duskfall is actually better. I I, I think I choose Duskfall <laughs> over our Victorian. Yeah, same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, even, as, even, to, even as dark really, and haunted so. as it is, the, the rigid, <laughs> rigid and horrible social hierarchies are pretty right. constraining. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, then let's go there. Let's go to Duskfall, and today we're going to engage in a little downtime after our last score. And mm-hmm. I made a mistake that I'm going to cre- correct, and it means that a player is going to have to move around dots on their sheet. Oh, are shoot. you hooked yet? Here no. we go. A thousand years ah. ago, this was a land of <laughs> beauty <laughs> and magic. Let then rip. came the cataclysm that blotted out the sun and ripped open the gates to the land of the dead. <laughs> the city of Duskval ah. is a metropolis of refineries, factories, and tenements surrounded by crackling lightning towers that keep out the ravening undead. Outside the city is a wasteland of zombies and ghosts. Inside is a teeming hive of scum and villainy. Life is cheap in a city ruled by death. The sun is gone. The only thing that shines in Duskfall are the blades in the dark. And if Evil Hat is watching, feel free to use that in the new edition of the book. Uh, I think it would go really great on the cover, actually. Um, yeah, just, just a suggestion. Welcome back, uh, our players. They are a crew of shadows uh, called the Remnant. Uh, who are, they're pretty spooky. They have a strange reputation. And they are Juliette Belrose, a.k.a. the Widow, a leech, 
uh, who uh, is a master of tinkering with things and sometimes <laughs> accidentally floating out of stadiums. Oh, um, boy. Yes. Oh, boy. Uh, Celia <laughs> Khan, a whisper uh, t- of Taika Rossi heritage with translucent skin and the ability to control demons and ghosts except for sometimes when he can't. <laughs> and Valkos, a Severosi cutter. Uh, who always wants two more coin or he's going to decapitate you. <laughs> um, little ribbon for your excellent characters there. Okay, so here we are. Uh, last session, um, you guys, uh, you guys, you did it. You made it up to tier well, one. Sweet. I went ahead and did part of the rewards. We're on rewards today. I have the... I have our uh, our roll twenty open to a little uh, little picture that says rewards with piles of coin beside it. Um, you earned enough coin to push yourselves up to uh, tier one, so you've really finally made your arrival in uh, in Dustfall a real <laughs> thing. Um, pe- yeah, exactly. <laughs> people are talking about your gang now. Uh, people know your gang, and they uh, there's some measure of respect or at least fear. Uh, fear at uh, how your next job is going to go horribly wrong. Um, <laughs> you uh, you had to spend uh, eight coin to do that. That left you with two coin. It also cleared your rep tracker, so you currently have no rep left. Uh, you have to build that up again. And you have a weak hold on tier one, meaning that if another gang were to go to war with you, they could uh, hurt you and knock you all the way back to tier zero again if oh. you're not careful. So What kind of rule is that? Well, <laughs> wait, what? What? Hey, don't oh. relax, Abu. No one's Jared, at war with you yet. Why? <laughs> why would you do this? I don't like that yet. I don't I like that yet. Done it. I haven't done it. I'm just letting you know. Someone with a weak hold on tier one. Uh, if I were, if I were that crew, I would be careful in who I make alliances with. That how sounded like I a threat. Carry what kind of damn game is this? <laughs> what it, what am I as what? a game master if not yeah. someone who fr- uh, friendly uh, in a friendly way threatens you? That's what I am. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm with oh, Abu. Like, what in the hell kind of <laughs> game is this? It's like I worked so hard to get to this level, spent money, <laughs> and then you're just gonna take it away from me? Oh, speaking of taking things away. Oh, oh no. no. Don't, man. Don't. Uh, what I, I feel, oh, I found Why me? Why is it always me? All right, well, go on. You're the, you're the one, you're, you're the one who um, uh, takes the best advantage of the rules to, to make your character uh, the most dangerous, I feel, sometimes. So, uh, Valkos, you have four... Skirmish. Uh, That's you, right. Yeah. It's, it's, who challenging? Uh, it's, I'm not challenging. I'm telling you, the rules say you cannot have four skirmish until you guys on your crew sheet unlock the upgrade mastery. So huh? that's, that's my mistake. I should not I'm have allowed you to skirmish, take. bro. Not yet. You're not my friend. Uh, oh. You must decide uh, another place to put that dot you earned in prowess. All right, we- I'm gonna um, put it in prowl. Is that okay? Hey, yeah, yeah, like our that. team of shadows finally has a point of prowl. Yes, I, I, I have a point of prowl. Of, I have a point yeah. of prowl. I yeah. just want to put it out there. I got a point of prowl. Oh, okay. Okay. We've got prowl. We got prowl for days. Yeah. Um, and hey, everybody's you know talking what? about it. Big prowler. Yeah. That was my mistake, Abu. So if at some point uh, in the game, uh, you want me to rule in your favor on something and it looks like I'm waffling, just remind me of that mistake I made. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's kind of a little character point you have for yourself there, uh, okay. just waiting to be used. Okay, so let's look and let's do uh, let's do our individual XP first because mm. XP is so important in this game. And while we're just talking about uh, Valkos anyway, why don't we just why don't we just do his XP? So right. on this last uh, score. Uh, where you uh, sabotage the scientific demonstration, it doesn't look like you um, you marked any desperate actions. Is that right? No, there was a few desperate actions that people did. Well, but the, not that you yourself did. No, not for me, no. No, no. okay. Just making sure. So um, uh, even, you're full of stress, so I hope that you do <laughs> indulge your vice, but maybe you'll just go training again to get, to get those dots back <laughs> yeah. up. Um, <laughs> Did you address a challenge with violence or coercion? Yes. Uh, okay, uh, remind me, just remind me. This is a good way to recap what happened last So I I violently coerced or um, <laughs> I spoke to the, the assistant. The assistant was the one who oh, I, right. I was like, 
Hey, give us some passes. That's yeah, right. You you, mm-hmm. um, you intimidated Una Faros's assistant Ganymede into mm-hmm. giving you passes into the demonstration in a flashback. Mm-hmm. That is coercion, and so you may take an XP for that. You may mark an Thank XP. Um, did you express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background? Uh, well, let's see. Your background is military. Your heritage is Severosi. Um, I don't know. Do you think that you... No, I don't think I did. Okay, no problem. And I don't believe that you struggled for, with issues from your vice or trauma yet either. No. Okay, so your uh, player, your playbook uh, XP is halfway full. Uh, you've got four out of the eight, so when you get that extra four, you'll be able to mark a new special ability. But for now, mm. that is where you stand. And now let's look at Selyak Khan, played by Ross Bryant. Selyak, I see that you marked several uh, desperate actions last time. That's right. I, there were there were several desperate attunements over the course of that little uh, adventure, as I tried to both conjure and deploy a little gang of ghosts. Right, you guys wanted to make the, this new Sparkrite uh, innovation, this new type of lightning tower that was supposed to exterminate ghosts. You were trying to make it seem like it works so poorly that it actually attracts them. And so you mm-hmm. summoned a bunch of ghosts and then desperately had to try to control them with mixed results. Yes, um, <laughs> with interesting results. Well, uh, it looks like you're halfway <laughs> to another point in a resolve action and you've got a little bit of prowess XP, but uh, let's look at your playbook uh, triggers. Um, did you address a challenge with knowledge or arcane power? That's absolutely true. Yeah. In fact, I'd <laughs> yes. say you did that multiple twice. times. Yeah, so I marked you go two. To, let's yeah. mark two, yeah. Ooh. Did you express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background? What do you think of that? I want to um, say that I did. I think, or, and that may be just old Ross Bryant getting greedy with RP moments, but like, yeah. I feel like the little the little conversation that, um, that Celiac had with uh, with Una in the in the um, restaurant, as well as like talking about how how to at least from Celiac's perspective that he believes that that people claim that that Tycharos have this demonic blood and that's why they look the way they do. That that he believes that that, that it's from his point of view that he's closer to some sort of like true essence, and he believes that like because everyone else in Duskfall. To, to his eyes, looks like I, I, he might might not put it this way, but it's like you all look the same to me. <laughs> like, um, right. and that's because and that's because like they they're they're fallen far away from this chaotic essence that uh, that that is at the heart of all things. <laughs> right, I loved that, and and you you Seliak was basically saying that because he is closer to the demons. Which, by the way, I mean it's completely in canon because in this world, people sort of. They don't only hunt the demons for their blood to use as their main resource, but they also sort of worship them. Um, they, there are churches that are sort of like, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. That is like the official church. And um, there's sort of this um, this uh, majesty to the demons that everybody kind of pays at least lip service to. So that means that Selyak is not too far from kind of saying a lot of the themes that are already in the game. Selyak, take that XP. Not just that, but I mean, you did stop, you know, something that was going to eradicate and make spirits' lives very difficult, right? This Yes. Which is important to you, right? That's right. And so if I'm not mistaken, Jared, it looks like I have filled up my playbook (gasps) advancement. That is... (laughs) That is correct. Uh, that is absolutely oh, what correct. what happens? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What, what do what we do? What happens now? is a great <laughs> question. Well, um, I can tell you that you get to pick, I believe, a new special ability. Let me take a look and oh, make sure that's your Lee only option. Moly. Um, yeah, so um, uh, when you fill up your XP track, clear all marks and take an advance. When you take an advance from your playbook track, you may choose an additional special ability. Uh, right, so this is from your XP track, not from your, um, not from your action XP. So yeah, right. you need to pick a new special ability for Selyak. Oh man, that's fun. I'm um, gonna clear his XP for you. Okay, thank you. And um, uh, there's so many great ones in this uh, in this yeah. whisper menu. Um, um, let's see. Oh wow. Compel would be handy based on the all the interactions we've had so far because a I can conjure and force a ghost to obey a command I give it. 
Right. Um, uh, basically, we, I've been sort of low key allowing you to do that, but it's it's required a lot of rolls and effort and chances to fail. Right. This would make it a, a little bit more automatic. Summoning the ghost also gives you a command that you can give it. Okay. I tell you what. Maybe circle back to me as I look this over, and I'll I'll uh, I'll have an answer for you soon. That sounds great. Let's great. take a look at Juliette Belrose, aka the Widow. Uh, I'm mm. bringing up her sheet now. And uh, let's see. It looks like you uh, you tracked a couple desperate actions as well. I think I think two of them were already there. I think it was just one that got added in the last one in our last. I know I really need to be taking more desperate actions because I only have three, t- one in each uh, whatever attribute with each attribute. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's you know it's it's. It's not totally up to you because I'm the sure. one that sets the uh, I'm the one that sets the position. But I will say, yeah, if you want to play your character crazier, then probably I, you'll I need get to more be desperate going actions. Wilder is what I'm hearing. I need to I be doing. No, I don't think I want to tell that to this crew. <laughs> I don't think I want to tell you to play it more crazy. Um, let's look at your playbook advancement. Okay. Um, did you address a challenge with technical skill or mayhem? Absolutely. Yes. Uh, in fact, I, more than once, I would say. Yeah, let's see. Oh my gosh, it was so stressful. I can't even remember it. Um, it yes, I used multiple items for sure. Yeah, you used a lot of items off of your bandolier. You were trying to replace oh, the fuel for the lightning yeah. tower with first and also drift my disguise oil. and like yeah. Yeah. So go okay. ahead and mark that twice. You can mark Ooh. two for that. Okay. Did you express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background? Well, yes, because you are the yeah. one that has a grudge against the Spark Rite Guild. Yeah, and especially Una. My God. Yeah, you hate Una Pharos, the leader of the Spark Rite Guild, <clears throat> who was giving the scientific demonstration that you were trying to sabotage. Yes, mm-hmm. I think that you can go ahead and take that final. And oh my word, look at this. You have also filled your XP yeah. track. Yeah. Nice. Um, okay. So you get to choose a special ability. And um, I'm going to let you look those over for a minute while I go back over to Mr. Selyak Khan. Uh, Selyak, have you had a chance to decide what special ability you like? Yes. And um, I think actually what I'm going to do is... There's, there's an option, I think, in every one of these menus of special abilities called Veteran. Oh, yeah. And yeah. it says you choose a special ability from another source. Can be taken more than once. And we've said that um, Celiac has a background in in law. And I think he has been a student, a law student, perhaps a legal aide. Um, and um, so I think things that involve study and planning and um, and uh, rigorous attention to detail are, is is something that can be said that he is a veteran of. Um, ah. He's he has like uh, this kind of background. <laughs> Look at and my so, face. I'm like, I know. what's going? Where is this going? Yeah. So, so I am going to select from the spider playbook the special ability calculate uh, foresight, which means two times per score I can assist a teammate without paying stress. And I tell you how I, pre- as long as I tell you how I prepared for this. Oh, um, awesome. Wow. What a great idea. Uh, and I didn't <clears throat> expect uh, you to go a veteran so quickly. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, it's, it really appeals to me. I'm going to, I'm going to take it, but I think it, I think it, we haven't really touched on that aspect of, of the, of, of this character, but I think This is that, where Jared says you can't take Vedden well, because I'm, you're not ready. Oh, can I, can ha, I not? How did you know that I, well, I bet uh, you can uh, actually. Oh, but guess uh, what? I, true. I, I am uh, uh, already like flipping through the book to make sure that you can. Oh um, yeah. If that's not a thing. Make sure you can slash con. Yeah. Selyak, can you? Selyak, um, con. Let's go ahead. I mean, <laughs> I love that you're doing it. What you're saying makes total sense. But, like but if, that you, if that goes against the grain of the rules, I, I definitely have a backup. Hey, hey, you backup know now, man. Fight for your corner. You're supposed to be a lawyer. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> of course, I, I will, I will, I'm happy to, 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 to accept the backup as long as, as long as you are willing to accept this total uh, affront to, uh, <laughs> to the atmosphere and, and the conduct of this game. 
Um, Let me just look. I mean, I no, think you can. Be... I, I, I don't see any reason why you can't. Uh, Nothing in the now, world says a dog say, can't play basketball. For now, I'm going to say that you can. Okay. Um, and uh, then, you know, in three or four episodes, I'll do like I do to Abdu, Abu and just take it away. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I think that this is fair. I don't I don't see any reason why you shouldn't be able to have that if, if you're choosing veteran. So go ahead and check off veteran. I've gone to, I went ahead and wrote foresight in. Mm -hmm. uh, just make sure you have access to the text of that uh, quickly right. if you need it. Um, because we always have to look up that text again, you know. Um, right. Um, so and I, assist, I love that. Assist twice without taking stress. And nice. I just have to say how I planned for it. Nice, right. nice. Nice. Uh, and now I turn back to Juliette. Uh, yeah. Juliette, do you know what uh, new ability your leech is going to take? I uh, am sick and tired of seeing my poor crew beaten down time and again. And uh, whether or not I care to admit, I've grown quite attached to them. So I'm going to take Physiker so that everyone in my crew gets plus one D to your healing rules. Yes, oh, she got a doctor. Go. Oh God, I'm so glad we're getting off the Sawtooth health plan. <laughs> well, you still have to go to Sawtooth, okay, okay. but, you'll, but uh, I'll supervise her, I don't Wait, know. We've... Whatever we want. <laughs> well, I mean, I think that this technically means that so now oh, that you've taken I? this, you can start rolling oh. for people uh, to help heal them. Yeah. Now, Ooh. the the issue is that if you're not going to an outside source, you might start taking stress and other, you know, disabilities because you're helping your crew heal up. But uh, so if you if you want to just use the downtime activity to go to Sawtooth, it's a it might be a little it might end up being a little cheaper for you uh, in the long run. But it, regardless, you're getting that plus one die because plus uh, one Juliet, die to healing. It, okay. Yeah, um, that's huge, huge, mm -hmm. uh, and an excellent, excellent, excellent buy. Uh, let's go ahead and clear. I'm going to clear uh, her playbook XP, oh, and yeah. I'm going to say, uh, Valkos, you. Uh, I can't wait for you to get a new special ability. We should learn more about Valkos. Look for um, a way to pick a score that really gets into what Valkos is all about uh, next time. And uh, oh, 100%. We, we wow. can fill that. We can fill that meter up very quickly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, murders Good in our future. So. Punching and stabbing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so now we are in downtime fully. Um, uh, I already gave you your rep. I already gave you your payoff of six coin. You've Did spent it. You have two coin left. Uh, now we need to talk about heat we didn't oh, do xp sake. either right for the crew oh crew xp my word <coughs> yes <coughs> thank you thank, thank you, you Miss, uh, mcadam yes all right uh let's do that let's uh pull out uh the crew sheet uh, uh it really the was a question did we do it last we didn't do it last time no, right? no you I did think. not okay, so okay. it's time to do it um so oh and the crew is very close to an advancement uh, wow, you guys leveled everything up at once. Uh, well, let's see, let's see. Did you execute a successful burglary, espionage, robbery, or sabotage operation? Undoubtedly you did, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Of course. Okay. Um, and did you contend with challenges above your current <laughs> station? Yes, you did. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. And finally, did you uh, bolster your crew's reputation or to develop a new one? You made new allies of that uh, yeah. of those students. The you, Sons of Freedom. The Sons of Freedom. And our reputation is that we're strange, right? I feel that our methods have still um, corroborated that reputation. <laughs> I have to agree. Guess what? You just filled up your crew, yeah. uh, yes. your crew advancement yeah. chart. So now you guys have to choose together what you're, oh no, listen, this is tricky because I'm gonna clear the XP. So you can choose a new special ability or you can choose a crew upgrade. The upgrades Ooh, oh. are the things like, uh, oh. you know, you can get a boat uh, or you can get, uh, so you get two dots to spend in upgrades, right? Oh, Cause some things cost two dots. For example, a, a one that you should already be thinking about is a vault. Oh um, yeah. So yeah. right now you could get a vault. You could spend two dots okay. in vault and that would increase the amount of coin you can hold um, uh, so that you guys aren't like carrying it around in your hands all the time um, and that having to spend it. That might be smart. Yeah. Um, hey, uh, 
Jared, just a question. Does yeah. does XP bleed over? Because I feel like we should take a look at the last XP gain section sure. of the crew. Sure. Did you express the goals, drives, inner conflict, or essential nature of the crew? I'm going to say yes. And the reason is because everybody really talked about the score this time and making sure it, uh, it followed the goals of the Remnant, which the goals of the Remnant are to... Um, eventually become very powerful within the city uh it was even uh it was even suggested that you take over the spark rights guild yourselves um so that's that's in line with the score that you chose uh i'm gonna give you an xp for that okay uh, so your Thank new you. empty Thank xp you. <laughs> your new en empty xp chart so um look <sighs> there are a lot of special abilities here um, ghost Echoes allows you to interact with ghostly structures, streets, and objects within the echo of Duskfall that exists in the ghost field. Woo. Pack Rat allows you to uh, take a plus, plus one die when you acquire an asset. That's a downtime activity. Uh, Patron says that it costs half the coin when you go up a tier. That would help. Uh, but you have to dis you have to say who the patron is who's helping you do that. Oh my! Second story says when you execute a clandestine infiltration, you get plus one die to the engagement roll. So if you guys were doing a lot more sneaking and breaking and entering mm. and stealing things, uh, you'd get plus one die to that engagement roll, which, as you know, can go uh, awry sometimes. I've even had people roll desperate engagement rolls uh, that uh, really, really messed up their score. So you want to be careful with that. Slippery, I like this one. When you roll entanglements, you roll twice and keep the one you want. And when oh. you reduce when you reduce heat, <gasps> you take plus one die. You've been reducing heat a lot. Ye um, yeah. I kinda like the, yeah. <laughs> Synchronized, when you perform a group action, you may confront multiple, You, I'm sorry, you may count multiple sixes from different roles as a critical success. Wait, you guys haven't on. really done group actions yet. Yeah. You've assisted each other, but you can do something called a group action. For example, if all three of you were trying to sneak into a building and only one of you was good at prowl, that person could roll for everyone, but, uh, but the other two roll, and if they fail, the person that's leading the action gains stress. That's called a group action. Oh, so, well, that's uh, good to know. In this that's case, if cool. two people rolled sixes, it would be a crit. Um, mm. And then finally, the special ability you guys are definitely going to take, Veteran. <laughs> Choose a special ability from another crew altogether. Uh, I'm just saying, guys, right? No. Veteran, okay? I was looking at Assassins. Are you serious? There is, there is a specific one here that says Crow's Veil. Due to hard-worn experience or occult ritual, your activities are hidden from the notice of Death Seeker Crows. You don't take extra uh. heat when killing is involved <gasps> on the score. Oh, the timing could be perfect. I'm just mm -hmm. saying. But there's also another one from Vigilantes. <clears throat> uh, so as good as your word, you may spend rep as coin in downtime actions. Vigilantes gain obligation as a second vice. I'm just saying that means that we could train like crazy uh, and like, you know, <laughs> just sacrifice rep. <clears throat> but uh, we don't have to do that, obviously, by uh, looking at your face. But the point yeah. is, is that there is incredible amounts of stuff to take from here yeah so, there's a lot um i i i like the sound of the crow's veil same and are we sure are we sure are, we, we can do this this is against this is not against the rules i mean <laughs> I, I i'm trying to look up veteran and make sure that it's it's legal uh i mean i mean don't don't we think that because we've literally just started and we're just a starting crew how could we become veterans like straight away but i'm, I'm just saying right i mean maybe that's not the rule but you know yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, but it's clear that Valkos has killed. Right. Oh, 100%. I, I, I took veterans well, to mean I just say it like, like I do, and, you know, I'm all that, bark, no, no actual bite. I'm yeah, actually yeah. like, I'm, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. I, won't, I won't take your tongue. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, okay, veteran okay. is, uh, we, we, you know, uh, we have researchers that work for us, and veteran <laughs> is okay to take. Uh, okay. You can take it multiple times as well. Up, um, up, okay. And I will I think say this is... I like I like that I like that uh that that call Abu I do like that slippery one yeah. also. Uh, yeah. um, I I just I think murders in our future. <laughs> <laughs> let's yeah, be I, I, let's be real here. Murder, it's the best game in town. Do you remember let's, how uh, we talked about how we're getting informants? That's right. That's a good point. Yep. I remember. That's um, a good point. That's right. Gosh, how right you are. Maybe um. 
maybe we take the crow's veil. And, or and we could, since or, that is, oh, here's another one. I'm so sorry. Uh, the thing is, is that we could also take one where it gives us dots in every single, um, uh, you wait, know, of our actions. Wait, what? Saying? Which which one are you looking at? So, I mean, like, it depends on what you want to say. I can pull up assassins right now, and each PC may add one action rating to hunt, prowl, or skirmish up to a max oh, up to a max rating of three. Or like, to you know, let's go, let's go to power uh, game approach to cult exactly, where we can get an, an, an extra dot in a tune, study, or sway. I'm just saying, guys. Um, there's another one here in hawkers. If you want, there is an add one in command consort or sway. So, I'm just saying. I think yeah, we that's keep really it. funny because you guys took everyone's steals when you yeah. initially created your crew, which gives you plus dot, plus yeah. one dot to a rating and an action. And uh, you can just keep hitting veteran every time you level up and getting extra action dots. Yeah. Oh. Well, it sounds God. like, wait, we can only do it three times. We can only, only take veteran times. three times, right? But yeah. still, yeah, we could do that quite a bit. I like, I like the tie into the RP. Oh, I mean, that Jesus. said. One of those people. <laughs> It's okay. Stop it. <laughs> the classic optimizer VR peer divide. As you talking about guy who wanted to put four in skirmish and then got okay, vetoed okay, out. Okay, okay, yeah. well, no, no, no. But that said, out of all of the gains, like what have we been doing the most? What makes sense? Like what do we need more of? Like what have we been engaging mm. in and practicing on yeah. our scores? Um, I, I will just throw this out there and say that one thing that you've had a little trouble with is controlling your heat because uh, you guys That's have a pretty it wild style. Uh, That's true. Yeah. In terms of your if, your score yeah. style. Mm. For, uh, for shadows, we're pretty bombastic, so I feel like the slipperiness is is handy for that. Um. Oh, is that when you reduce the heat, take one? Yeah, well, slippery and crow's veil because the thing crow's is, every time you kill, every time you kill, you get plus two heat, right? That's right. And I like killing. <laughs> I think maybe that clinches it. Shall we go crow's veil? <laughs> crow's veil, it is. I think we'll and be it, wanted yeah. before long if we don't. Right. Yes. And I, and I, I think like so too. I do like also, Celiac of course likes that, that that has an occult component, that the reason that's happening is that there is a, some sort of like ritualistic protection that is occluding the view of these, uh, of these spectral watchmen. Totally. I, we were just talking about the Crow's Veil we were. last time. We were actually. Yeah, you yeah. were. So it makes sense that you would take it this time. I think that, yeah. it's, I think that it's a totally legal choice and I, I just, I'm just going to kill know, everyone now. This is great. How cool is the game that the game doesn't like definitely make you go down one alleyway. It lets you yeah. kind of customize how yeah, these really crews cool. work. It's really cool. It's really dope. Kind of, really it, nice. it, doesn't, it doesn't force you into like an, a, a character or a class, right? It makes yeah. you feel, it, you, you create your own crew, which is great. It's really cool. I really do is, love yeah. that. It's emblematic of the whole thing where it like sets so it sets there's so much table setting for you but it's all just like a cool jumping off point for your own imagination to go mm. wherever yeah yeah and uh and speaking of going wherever let's talk about let's go back and talk about heat now okay um, jesus christ Gulp. um because i really i'm oh you you kids i don't know what to do with you i don't know i don't know how much heat to give out for this uh i this. just want to say we were under disguise when yeah. shit kicked off. This so let's just take that into account, okay? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I'll take that into account. You guys were in disguise. You, you were disguised as Sparkrite guild members. Um, you escaped, right? Mm -hmm. You you didn't actually get pinched by anybody. Melted nope. into the crowd. Selyak mm -hmm. never came out of that field house, m mainly. He kind of worked from uh, a covert position there. Uh, let's I, see. I also had, you know, physical disguise as well as a, uh, on top of the uniform. Didn't look like me. Yeah. Um, guys, I, I, for some reason, I thought this would be more heat because it felt kind of like a chaotic job. But when I do all the reasoning there, I'm going to say two heat contained standard exposure. Cool. All right. All right. Okay. okay. Hey. Take that. We take that. We take that. So you have four heat that. left in your wanted uh, in your wanted your heat tracker before you become get a wanted level. Um, right. Let me just make sure. Add plus one heat for high profile or well connected target. 
Oh, I have to do uh, that. Yeah, Ooh, who, who yeah that's fair. Yeah, she's, she's, she's the leader of the Spark Rates Guild. She's a pillar of the community. <laughs> that's, uh, that's fair. Okay. Or at least she was before we destroyed her reputation. <laughs> uh, plus one heat if the situation happened on a hostile turf. Uh, uh, it's not wasn't hostile. It at a stadium, it's not right? hostile. Yeah. yeah, it's not hostile. Um, it's not your turf, but it's not hostile. Add plus one heat if you're at war with another faction. No, add plus two heat if killing was involved. Not a problem for you guys anymore. Uh, all right, uh, that is heat. And now we go to entanglements. So you currently have no wanted level. Uh, and you have, let's see, that's um, one. See, two. that plus two heat for killing is brutal, right? I, I think this is, the- that is really brutal. You have six heat and you have currently uh, no wanted level, so I roll two dice and take the lower of whatever happens here. And I rolled a six and a four, so I take the lower, I take the four, and I'm supposed to uh, choose between demonic notice oh. or show of force. Oh, wow, one makes sense, though. <laughs> yeah, one that, sure does make sense. That one really makes sense, considering what <laughs> well, I don't know do. what you're talking about. Um, okay, uh, here's what I'm going to do. Well, wait, actually, I, I th- th- that, that one is really nasty, show of force, especially for where you're at right now. So I'm gonna look at, uh, uh, let's see, a demon approaches the crew with a dark offer, accept their bargain, hide until, it, or hide into it, loses interest, and lose three rep, or deal with it another way. Uh, <laughs> you don't have any rep right now. You've just cleared it as you moved up to tier one. Yeah, so what's gonna happen, huh? So we're gonna get a bargain, a devil's, a real devil's bargain? Hmm. Yeah, or show a force. A faction with whom you have a negative status makes a play against your holdings. I would Give love them one that. claim or go to war. Let if you them have come. no claims, we don't have any claims. Hold. No, we can't do that. We'll go back down a tier. No. Listen, I will. I will. Let's. I'll cut their heads off. It's Trust not an me. option. Let them come. What do you mean it's not an option? Show force. Feels like they. Feels like they want to bring the force to me. I'll show them the force. Ever watch Star Wars? <laughs> I did. I. Look, with all the messing about that that uh, Celiac has done with spirits I mean, lately it feels, it feels very normal that a demon would approach us at this point right i agree it feels like normal. a demon was summoned and a demon was not banished and so yep. i believe that uh the demon uh from your first score uh one night when you're in your grotto um suddenly you guys hear these horrible um sounds of twisting metal kind of like uh, rising up out of the water uh, and then uh, slowly like pieces of old girders and wiring and like metal cables start to like uh, reach out up out of the water and onto the steps that lead up into your hideout. Uh, Something uh, awful is emerging from the water, something uh, obviously supernatural. And I would like to set that scene and ask how you react. Celiac, Celiac, Celiac. Mm-hmm. I, you, uh, somehow we're next to each other. We all sleep in one bunk, is what I've <laughs> just decided right now. <laughs> 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 Little Wonka style, just <laughs> <laughs> like going up and down. Um, I think yeah, if Sel- Seliak is like in a in a, like an intense um, posture of meditation, and as you come over, like Seliak, Seliak, his eyes just kind of like pop open, like they are here, <laughs> and. Uh, Celiac will just advance to the uh, to towards the gnarled hulk of metal emerging from the water, and maybe you notice where he had those like stigmatic offerings when it was summoned, like little trickles of blood like come out of his wrists. Um, the thing has taken a, sort of a vaguely humanoid shape, but um, has cobbled together its body out of old rusty metal parts. Uh, and when Selyak approaches, it uh, aggressively advances on you, Selyak. Um, and yeah, Selyak will almost like drop to his knees with his hands in the air in a totally, uh, totally supplicating posture. I'll follow suit behind him. Valkos, um, are you there? I'm, yeah, I'm just watching. It's one bed. I mean, he's gotta be. <laughs> um, uh, the thing crawls up, he push, it pushes you down, 
and it crawls up onto your chest and the the weight of the metal is like suff- you know it's crushing your chest uh, and it reaches down with fingers and little bits of like sharp wire come out of the fingers and it slowly rakes its fingers down the side of your face Selyak. Oh, very like Tetsuo the Iron Man. <laughs> yes. Like, um uh you are not at rest. Please, how can we give you the peace you desire? I did something for you. Now you do something for me. <laughs> Just this, the sound of metal on metal. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, Josephine was not expecting that to be the voice. Um, no. Who would expect that? I understand that in these in these situations there is an equivalent exchange. What is your will? Can Clayth Inspector Ken Clayth carries a charm on his person. Take it from him. I will do the rest. <laughs> Very well. I understand. It backs off of your chest. You seem like looking at you. Um, It stands and uh, regards uh, Valkos. It has no eyes. It just has this sort of uh, uh, nest of metal uh, and like bolts sticking out of a a head-like protuberance. Uh, and it sort of uh, cocks this head-like protuberance to one side, and then it says, You will be paid in blood if you do not comply! And I kind of look at it, and I'm like, You know, I like your kind. Demons. It's a good challenge for us. For our kind. Paid in blood. It advances aggressively. It advances aggressively on Valkos. Oh my god. What are you doing? It (laughs) seems to kind of be regarding you. uh, It's like a, a hair's breadth away from your face. The sharp kind of bolts and like scraps of metal sticking out of its face are so close to scratching your own face. Can I headbutt it? Would you like to do that? No. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna back away and be like, okay, we'll do your job. That's fine. Just stay away from the face. I really like this face. Oh, oh, oh. Um, it begins to back away, back down into the grotto. Uh, but then, uh, as it, uh, gets down into the water, you see parts of it are just falling off, uh, and it appears to shed the body it has built completely, uh, and, uh, the hunks of metal just kind of float off of it, scraps of metal float to the surface, little bits of it, uh, as, uh, but something is still moving in the water. It has discarded its body, but it is, something else is swimming away. Uh. Kind of look to to Seljak and I'm like what did you summon? Yes sir why is it still here? (laughs) The ritual to call these forces up requires as you said Mr. Valkos a payment in blood this blood I gave but it performed such actions where perhaps in order to find rest, the blood which was offered is not enough. 
So now it requires a more uh, base material payment in order to uh, seek uh, the rest to which it is accustomed. Hmm? Mm. It is a piece of something larger. It has right. no name. But it's clearly going to murder this inspector. I mean, not that I care that much. No, no, we are going to murder the inspector. That's what we're going to do. We're simply going to give it the charm. We're giving it the charm. The charm is what it will do rest. How we get the charm is up to us, you see. That is where the conundrum is. Yes. Because an inspector carries weight. Yes, uh, this, um... Yes. Will, uh, prove, a, a complicated challenge. But, uh... Have no fear for this inspector. When we take this charm... Murder, I assure you. If the inspector has made an enemy of the force to which we have spoken, he will beg for murder. If this is all that this entity desires. (laughs) And so that was Entanglements. Uh, (laughs) That was Entanglements. That was your Entanglement for today. Um, Yikes. uh, And and so uh, you you kind of have a a, a next job picked out, but I want to remind you that you can do whatever you like. You know, um, <laughs> you you might test this things. You might test this thing's patience if you don't immediately uh, right, go about right, the right. errand that yeah. it has asked you to do. But yeah. perhaps, perhaps I mean, it didn't say uh, three days. It didn't say right. something like that. So maybe you have time. Um, mm-hmm. uh, in the meantime, it is time for your downtime activities, and so uh, <gasps> I will begin uh, with. Uh, let's begin with Juliet. Uh, no, Juliet. Someone, else, someone else go first. <laughs> Oh, okay. No problem. Um, I'll begin with Celia Khan. So I'll just remind everybody what your options are. Acquiring an asset, long-term project, recovering, reducing heat, training, or indulging your vice. Well, I am going to indulge my vice on account of the insane amount of stress that uh, uh, Celiac was under in the last score. He needs it bad. Yeah, so you have um, you have all but one bar marked on your stress meter. That's right. Uh, very good. Uh, and we know that you've already gone down from stress at least once on the la- on the score before last. So, right. uh, yeah, we need to we need to clear out that stress. So um, it says here that your uh, your vice is faith. That's right. Um, so tell me exactly how you're going to relieve stress this time. What what how are you going to indulge your vice of faith? I'm Celiac will go to one of these esoteric like kind of mystery cultic chapels that are scattered throughout the the um the city and I imagine it's not like like not like a huge imposing cathedral it's more like Duskwall's version of a uh, of like a strip mall pentecostal church with a hand-painted sign and <laughs> and um to to seek the sort of religious ecstasy that 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 cleanses his spirit very good um and he doesn't have a specific god picked out he's just kind of going to find a little god to kind of pray to or no uh, this is because maybe i i'm i'm still i'm is are there is there like again a menu of gods to choose from, or is this? Um, I know there are demons in the book, but uh, is this something that that we can invent together? Uh, well, the the main church is the Church of Ecstasy. It's the state religion that honors the life of the body and abhors the corrupted spirit world. Um, that doesn't mm-hmm. sound good for you. Um, right. I, I I have selected here. I we even selected it. The ruins of a temple to the forgotten gods, which oh, is exactly yeah. the sort of like. Um, preservation project that Celiac is all about. So the sort of church that I'm describing is one of these sort of like ruins. Like you know how you in like in in, in a in like Rome, there are uh, chapels 
in like little catacomby type places, niches that were like very like early Christian church worship spaces back when Christianity was a clandestine thing during the Roman Empire. It's like that. Yes, mystery cults. Yeah. Uh, and then also Christianity was also a covert religion. Um, it, luckily, there's something, uh, a faction in Duskfall. It's in the book. Uh, that's the other thing about this book is that everything is right in here, okay? Um, the Forgotten Gods, cults that's that it. attempt to follow the old ways from before the cataclysm, that's doing Zodiac. the bidding of demons and darker things. There are many yes. cults who rarely organize together. An individual cult is tier one or tier two. I'm just going to tell you something about your god about the god that you're currently worshiping it's, it's it's a single forgotten god but you can worship multiple ones you know mm -hmm. uh, yeah and i and it's, 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 yeah um the current god that you worship is a god of aggression and let's see it is um it has elemental features um it's like a uh it's like a storm god rad Okay, yeah, and because I think that all of this comes down to, as as Selyak keeps saying, that there is a an anarchic, um, immaterial part of aspect of everything that is like a remnant of these, a uh, an emanation of these old forces that is within everything and everyone, and that's what he is tends and and worships, and so yeah, the, there is a there is there is a storm inside us all. I got to worship the storm. The and in this little, in, the in this little chapel that you found, this little sort of a uh, hidden chapel, um, when you go inside, there is a, um, a skylight, uh, but not like a skylight. If you've ever gone to like the, the, the big, the Parthenon in Rome, where there's like a perfectly, you know, the architect made a perfect hole in the very top yeah. of the building, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the Pantheon. The Pantheon, thank you, not the not the Parthenon, the Pantheon. And you look up, and in this one, uh, no matter what it's like outside, it's <laughs> always raining, and it's awesome. all there's always like the, the far off sound of thunder, and and of course there's no light, there's no sun in Duskfall. So the worshippers here they look up into this dark portal above them and rain falls on their faces and there's a far off sound of thunder and they worship the storm inside of us all and now i want you to roll your weakest attribute which for you is either uh prowess or resolve why don't we just call it resolve yeah uh, and we, uh, uh yeah okay and your highest die result will be the amount of stress that you clear okay here we go wow a oh. six. Oh, oh yeah. that's great. That's really good. Um, hey, you nice. have you have cleared six of the uh, mini stress that you have. That's uh, great. There we go. That two, brings you down to three, two four, stress. Five. Oh, that's no. A I think it brings you down to one. One, one. two, three, four, five, six. No, it's it's two. Um, great. <laughs> uh, sweet. So yeah, I think just just imagine like in like yeah like electro. There's no, yeah barely any light. And I think it's the kind of thing where, like, it's like ritual cleansing, you know, how in, cer in certain religions you'll, like, like, bathe portions of yourself before you, like, even enter or pray. And it's, like, like just, like, st stripped down to, like, almost like a ritual undergarment and just, like, prostrate, having, like, this spectral storm water just pour down upon him. That's right. Uh, and you can see how that would be cleansing. Um, and it cleanses <clears throat> you of stress to the tune of six stress. Excellent rolling, excellent vice indulgence. Let's now move to Valkos. Valkos, mm. what are you going to do with your first downtime activity? I'm you have an idea me. of what your next score is, so acquire asset isn't a completely uh, insane suggestion. Uh, you also have a lot of stress. You probably want to indulge your vice as well. And yeah. then we know that Valkos loves to train. What are you going to choose? I'm definitely <laughs> going to be reducing my stress because this next score <laughs> is going to be something else, I feel. So, um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's something that I'm, I'm going to go visit my good old buddy ghost friends to play with me like a fiddle and uh, <laughs> do what they wish. 
Right. Um, so yeah. we should talk about, you know, we talked about how Valkos was, <clears throat> uh, you know, a chieftain's son uh, in Severos. Uh, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, in Severos, the uh, horse lords there, they police the spirits. They mm -hmm. control the spirits. They fight the spirits. Uh, maybe this is why you didn't uh, fit in with your family. You <laughs> exactly. you like to let spirits ride you, right? Literally, it's a uh, it's a it's a thing. But I do feel like it is one of those uh, one of those elements that again, I feel that perhaps there is some form of uh, strength in numbers, right? Strength in bonding with the spiritual as well as the physical that my uh, family do not believe in. So. Um, so yeah, this is why I do what I do because I see further than what they see. Um, so this time, uh, one of the spirits <laughs> that uh, is inhabiting you uh, wants you to uh, uh, wants you to have a romantic evening with his living loved one. Great, you can do that. Uh, and wants to take complete control of you mm -hmm. during this time. Absolutely. Um, and so, uh, at a certain point, um, <laughs> this uh, this woman who is, you know, she's middle aged, uh, mm -hmm. um, and uh, she looks like she might be a merchant's wife or a former merchant's wife. Mm -hmm. uh, it, at first, she uh, she has her bodyguard kind of approach you, like, "Who are you? Why are you in my courtyard? You know, uh, of my small manor house." Uh, and uh, what do you tell her? Because uh, in your ear, you have the ghost whispering, that is her. That is my wife, Goder. There are times where I felt truly in love. But with you, Clara, I have never felt so truly disgusted and I kind of smile in a really weird sort of uh, creepy way and I could see them as well being like oh this is this is the way that they used to talk to one another right it's a secret way of talking to one another and I kind of go, there is something about the way that you kind of smell it feels Hideous. Yes. It burns my senses. This makes me feel intoxicated, but not in a good way. She di dismisses her bodyguards immediately and approaches you near a small fountain in the courtyard of her manor house and is like, I could smell you from blocks away. Mm. And I could smell you too, my love. Now, the same wish... shit eating grin. That shows your mm. lack of education mingled with your your brutish nature. Oh, and you would know it, wouldn't you? You'd know it so well. Tell uh, me, what are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling some form of delicacy. Something truly abhorrent. Something that obviously makes you feel great. Um, she, uh, she uh, beckons you into the house. Uh, and uh, beckons you into a room that is recognizable to you, even though you've never been in it, Valkos. Uh, mm. And she pulls a cat of nine tails off of the wall and says, <laughs> You should have stayed oh, dead, God. you little gutter snipe. Now I have to punish you. Well, maybe you have the chance to kill me again because I'm ready for it. I'm so ready for it. Uh, she says, I loved killing you. I loved feeling your blood leak through my fingers. Uh, oh. And now let's go ahead and roll. Uh, let's go ahead and roll your um, your weakest attribute. So for you, that's insight. So you're going to roll two dice and take the lower, and that's how much stress you're going to clear. Okay. I did not think I would be hearing these words today when I came into this game. This rules. Oh god. Okay. So you have right. to take the lower. Uh that's and the four. lowest you run, you know. Uh well let's see. Oh yeah, wait, four. Yeah, that's not bad. Wait, the hmm. lower? Yeah, because he has zero insight. Uh and Oh, insight, because he's got zero. Ah. Yeah, he's got zero insight, so he has to when you have nothing in a in a uh. in an action, you have to roll two and take the lower. Okay. Um, 
So yeah, you, but you've cleared four stress, and yeah. that's mm-hmm. how much stress you had. God. So oh, you've completely cleared your stress. That's for each each whip that I get of that night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I um, feel like Valkos would like that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, uh, what what an interesting relationship uh, th- that uh, this woman killed her uh, her partner and they still have the hots for each other. Very interesting. That is right. intense. Maybe she oh. throws veil too. Uh, I'm clearing all your stress for you, uh, Abu. You are Thanks. at zero stress. Well done. No, I cleared it already earlier, my friend. So oh, I was, that makes I sense. Was... You were w- really high, so you're mm. at four. Okay, you're at four stress. Okay, great. <laughs> That's perfect. Um, we have to take an ad break. When we come back, we'll find out if uh, Josephine has finally decided what to do with her downtime activity. <laughs> Uh, hopefully we'll have more weird ghost sex. Who knows? <laughs> oh, man. Anything can happen when we return to Haunted <sighs> City here on the Glass Cannon Network. Back in a sec. And ghost sex. Hello, we are back. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> With more Haunted City, uh, where uh, the characters are engaging in their downtime activities between scores. Uh, and we've learned a little bit a bit, a little bit more about... Um, Celia Khan, Ross's character, Valkos, Abu's character, and now it's time to learn a little bit more about Juliet uh, through her downtime uh, activity. And Juliet, what are you going to choose as your first downtime activity? Well, I too, like my <clears throat> colleagues here, I'm at nine strip. I'm one away from trauma, so I, I need right. to indulge. I need to indulge in my obligation. <clears throat> Yes, your obligation to your deceased partner. Yes. Um, yes. So I will begin to make my way. <clears throat> let the let the emotions flow through her and make her way to Mist Shore Park in Six Towers, which is where she's set up this little <clears throat> shrine to Ophelia. Right. And... Uh, and the wailing is starting to have She's got these handkerchiefs that she just goes through m- multitudes of them because the tears, they come and come. Um, this time, she is going to collect the handkerchiefs that are full of these tears of sorrow and seal them in a uh, little container bag for experimentation later. Jesus. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> wow. Maybe they have some sort of ectoplasmic resonance. Uh, Perhaps. Uh, there must be there must be power in grief. And it could, I would yeah. find it. Could help actually um, finding finding the, uh, the spirit of your loved one. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I will say, I think that the people of Six Towers are starting to notice your regular uh, grieving walks. Mm-hmm. Through Miss Shore Park, you've become like a La Yorona type uh, character. Yes. Uh, the children, the gutter snipes, know about you. The uh, the underworld might know about you. And uh, I always stop and speak to Ophelia as well. Oh, you do. Mm-hmm. But even though we haven't we haven't managed to contact Ophelia no, yet. No, no, was... no. I'm speaking to you know the shrine, the the right. altar. The, there is no answer yet right well what do you say to her <sighs> Ophelia oh if you could only see me now what would you think I am keeping such strange company these days I this translucent religious man who means well, I think, and in fact is helping me, helping me to find you. And, oh, Valkos. <laughs> in fact, when you take the violence away, I, you two actually have a lot in common. This <sighs> says exactly what's on his mind. It is a um, protector, I think, 
of sorts. But I've um I'm growing fond of them, but they it's no replacement for the loss of you, Ophelia. We were the perfect equation. Now I feel myself spiraling out of control. I will stay steadfast. I see everyone looking at me here every time I come. I mourn you, and I will mourn you until I get to see you again. It's okay. They say this park is haunted. Yeah, maybe I can add to those stories for them. Until you are I being see watched. You. you are being watched. You, you notice children watching you, but you also feel presences among the, among the bushes and the trees. They say that young lovers who could not be together came here to take their own lives. I hope it will not come to that. Till we speak again, my love. Roll your attribute. Uh, For you, I believe... Mm -hmm. That will be... Uh, that's going to be your prowess, of which you only have one dot. Yeah, I resolve and prowess both oh, only have one, Oh, resolve as well, really. yeah, you're right. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, either one is fine. Uh, okay, okay, yeah, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter, um, it's the same amount of dice. Here we go. Did it... Oh, here we go. Here we go! Oh! oh wow! Oh, oh my gosh! Uh, six, wow! Uh, you feel better. You really have cleared a lot of stress there. Nicely done. Wow. Oh, wait. There we go. Yes, I'm down, down to two stress. Oh, down nice. to two. that was effective. Mm-hmm. Very effective. Um, well, there's the advantage of filling up that stress tracker. You never overindulge your vice. I believe True. last time. I think I last did. time we did. Yeah, and it, it, it mm-hmm. caused some trouble. But this time, yeah. um, you've gotten some much-needed relief, um, and uh, we've learned a little bit more about Juliette. She is uh, grieving to the point of being suicidal, uh, which is very scary and very serious. Uh, and uh, I don't even know if her teammates know that about her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, let us now turn back to Selya Khan. You get a second downtime activity. What is it going to be? Hmm. Now, Selyak has multiple projects. <laughs> there is, of course, the um, seeking the spirit of the late lamented Ophelia. There's also the project of learning about the presence, the demonic presence that he felt in that industrial building. Right. Uh, um, oh. And Wait, um, you work work on your your project. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'd I'd like to work on that. Okay. Uh, would you like to? T- it, it has not yet been set up as a long term project. Um, I think I just I just rolled poorly last time when I kind of. That, oh yeah, because that wasn't technically a downtime activity. I was like gathering information, I guess. Yeah, and you know we don't have to like just go. And now the second downtime activity. You can do <laughs> some. Fr- you can do some free play things right now. Would you like to look into that again? And we'll come back for another downtime activity in a minute. Yes, I'd love that. Okay, very good. So you find yourself once again drawn to this uh, this very nondescript structure. Uh, in six towers that has uh, kind of corrugated metal walls and like a you know a tin roof kind of a vibe to it Uh, and you all you know is that there's a strong presence inside Um, it looks like it's being used as a warehouse Um, do you want to stake it out do you want to try to get inside do you want to ask around about it or a fourth or fifth thing I haven't thought of (laughs) (laughs) Um, yeah I'd like to um I'd like to, uh, I think I used study last time. So I was like looking up, um, 
schematics and and look seeing if I could find old old blueprints and city records for its its building and that and that role went poorly so I'll I'll try a different thing this time and um I'll uh I will just uh, prowl I'll uh, I will um just yeah a, more like a stakeout be there myself to like just observe it the comings the goings just watching it great um so you're gonna use prowl for that you say yeah okay great um so this isn't a downtime activity this is just a free play you're just kind of finding out about your your turf you know you're finding out about the things in it and so go ahead and give me that prowl roll i'm gonna say that this is controlled Mm -hmm. uh and it will have a standard effect you will find something out from this all right uh here we go ah once again, rolled, rolled pretty lousy, <laughs> just a two. I can only tell you that uh, men and women uh, who seem to be very intent on their business move in and out of this building at very late hours of night. Uh, but you have no idea who they are <laughs> or why they are using this building or if they're aware of the presence that you detect beneath it. Okay. Um, I just like, uh, yeah, um, I mean, Saliak's just kind of muttering to himself, like, perhaps it is lonely, feeling the presence around you of so many who do not know how potent you truly are, whoever you are, whatever you are, he drifts away with, uh, Thanks to his prayers with a, just a crystalline clarity of his skin, just like, like fresh spring rainwater. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so the mystery deepens. Uh, who are these people that are operating the building and are they even aware of this supernatural presence you feel? Um, I am going to come back to grab a second downtime activity from you in a little while. Uh, but for now, let's ask Valkos. Valkos, anything you want to do? Uh, and a downtime activity could be what we're talking about or, or something else. I'm going to still indulge my vice. I'm not done with this, uh, with this, uh, this spirit that isn't, that has taken over me. Oh, okay. It's, wow. It's the, uh, it's the end of the night and he's, you know, it's in the, ha it's in the house, but oh, the, man. the lady isn't there anymore. And I'm sort of sitting on a, on a really sort of weird cat, like armchair with a cigarette. In hand and I'm <laughs> just talking to myself or talking to the ghost as we're sort of you know asking each other questions and, and everything you know he's very much like so uh v can i can i call you v i go yes you can call me whatever you like i think we've uh passed it <laughs> yes yes absolutely um so tell me why why do you do this do this why do <laughs> i do this yeah i mean it's slightly weird slightly <laughs> absurd <laughs> well why why do you appease your loved one the one who's killed you <laughs> well actually that's funny um <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm paying penance, you know. She caught me cheating, that's how she killed me. <laughs> Can you imagine? Mm. Funny. Yeah. <gasps> yes. <laughs> Very funny. But you never answered my question. Why do you... Why do you do this? And I'm gonna roll now. Uh -huh. and decide. <laughs> I, I, thought I, was, wow. I thought I was. I thought I. For a second, I thought I was going to be one half of that scene, but I like how it turned out. <laughs> okay, an, an uh, evening with Valkos, a one man uh, show. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, Valkos, go ahead and roll. Uh, okay. And remember, you could overindulge here because you only have four stress. Yeah. I know. Where you go? Oh fuck. Uh, oh, you have overindulged. Oh, oh. You have rolled a six and a five. So uh, the six would be the one that counts. Uh, because, oh, no, no. It would be the lower of the two, the five. Yeah. But that still means that you've overindulged. Okay. So um, this could mean that you attract trouble. 
selecting an additional entanglement, but we did that last time. Um, it could be that your current purveyor cuts you off and you have to find a new source for your vice. That's oh. what I'm choosing. Here's what happens, Valkos. Um, the end result is that you figure out that you need to stop um, perhaps letting these particular ghosts ride you because our friend here, um, you suddenly, Valkos, wake up three days later with no memory of what you've been doing. <laughs> um, um, these ghosts are taking complete control of your mind and blotting out your memories. Uh, and uh, when you awaken, uh, I'll just say that you feel extremely exhausted, uh, like you they've been keeping you very busy and on your feet for the past three days. <laughs> oh my god. Mm, and I'm you just... are not you are you are over in you're in Silkshore. So you're like, you know, an entire city away from where what? Uh, Yeah, well you were in uh, White Crown. That's where the merchant's <laughs> home was uh, and that's your hunting ground, so it makes sense you'd be there. You've come across the North Hook Channel and you are all the way down in Silkshore when you come to. Oh my god. <laughs> I kind of wake up and like Sort of look around like, <sighs> and I just start walking, like aimlessly, looking down, and I realize that I've got like no shoes on and no trousers, and <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> just walking. Oh. Um, so here's here's how I'm gonna make this really count. Oh, God. We we established that the ghosts that you're kind of um, cavorting with are allies or associated with the reconciled, who mm. you now have plus one relationship with. Mm. Um, you feel like you cannot go to them anymore if they're going to do this to you. So you need to decide right now if you are going to. Uh, just lose time sometimes and uh, and be subject to these kind of spells where they just take you over for a couple days or if you are going to perhaps uh, send a message to the reconcile that they need to stop sending these sorts of spirits your way uh, because I can tell you that as you walk across the city barefoot um, you feel spirits sidle up to you and go is that you V? I heard that you let a let a spirit take oh, a walk. No. Please help me. My daughter needs to know. She needs to know something. Please help me. V. V. Hi. Hi. I was told that you are a willing vessel. V. Oh, no. Willing? Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm willing. Yes. I sort of give in and then wow. overindulge into this madness. Uh, very good. Uh, you do not lose your plus one with the reconciled because uh, Valkos is just going to allow himself to fall into this madness. Oh, I think boy. That, I with think Jared that, at the helm, <laughs> who knows what will happen. I yep. <laughs> Love it. Uh, I think that, you know, uh, your stress is clear, but it's just because you, you kind of, you kind of are lost. Uh, that means you, you might even have a new character for the next, uh, score. I, oh. I, I don't know. It sounds like hey, you've given I, into this. I'm, I'm give, I think he would, I, look, if we want to go there, I can go there, mate. I'm like, I think he's gone because I think he's completely in it now, right now. He's like, I think lost. That, that's fair. Yeah. I mean, you know, he, he, he had the choice. He could have, he could have dismiss them or try to get away from them but he's he's let his vice take over so um oh let, let's God. leave valkos there for right now Whoa. let's leave oh, valkos can, there for right now can we rescue him <laughs> um certainly we can have some free play where we deal with with that yeah but first we have to deal with our down, downtime activities thank uh, you and uh uh, listen, you don't even have to... You know what? We don't even have to do the downtime activities before you have a scene like that. I mean, if you want to go try to find him or something like that. But I will turn the camera to Juliet now and ask her what she would like to do next. Reduce heat or train. Reduce heat or train. 
She doesn't know anything's wrong with Valkos yet. No, no, yeah. Reducing heat, though, it's like... What are we at? We're at six? I mean, we are gonna... We are about to kill someone. <laughs> we, yeah, but we won't take heat for it because of Crow's Veil. But I think, at True. minimum, our Less crew heat. always does at least three heat. When you... Okay, when you max it out, that doesn't make you want it. It's once you go past the max, right? Right. Yeah, once you uh, once you fill it all the way up, you gain a wanted level. So, I, I, forgive me. It's not once you go past it, it's once it's filled. Oh, so if, I, if we got three heat, we would have a wanted level. That's correct. Okay, I, I gotta reduce the heat. I gotta reduce the heat. Very good. What action are you using to reduce your heat? <sighs> I would like this is probably the dumbest idea ever i would like to charm and have tea with ganymede una's assistant oh interesting and uh, you know in this it would be talking about how i was somewhere and i wanted to know how the demonstration went and and just talking about academics and science and I want her generally to think of me favorably and um, convince her of the fact that I was off doing uh, working on an experiment that I'll tell her about in detail and share with her uh, okay uh, that's that sounds interesting why don't we try to see if we can convince the assistant of that so uh, where yeah. are we gonna go uh, we're gonna meet him at that restaurant again uh oof. I that would be the golden I, plum. Yes, or you can go somewhere that else. Restaurant? We only have two coin. I don't want to spend more of our coin, to be honest. We only have to. <laughs> no, and you shouldn't have to spend no, coin yeah. just to reduce oh, heat. So okay, yeah. You let's, could, let's, yeah, you just, could just catch uh, Ganymede as uh, uh, he exits the offices of uh, the uh, Charter Hall University building mm -hmm. where Una teaches. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, I. Uh, you are uh, Una's assistant, yes? That's correct. Ah, we go uh, way back. We used to uh, be in school together. I, I, I had so wanted to um, see your demonstration recently, but uh, I was not able to make it. But I was wondering, you are a fellow academic. Una is so hard to uh, tie down these days. She's so busy, so famous, you know, mm -hmm. right now. I'm um, not just an academic. I, I am guild. I am a member. Of course, of course. But And my we... understanding is that you are no longer in the guild, is that correct? That is correct, but it oh, does I'm, not I'm, mean I'm, I'm no longer of science, of discovery, of academics. Certainly, but you understand that I can't share any proprietary knowledge with you. Oh, no, yes, and I, I, I would not ask of that. In fact, I wanted to share some work uh, with with you and perhaps with Una just to see for the forward advancement of science. Uh, it does not matter if I get credit. I just I would I just miss speaking with fellow academics. Una is very busy and I'm afraid so am I. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but there was a, a terrorist attack at our demonstration. Probably. No. Yeah, probably carried out by spirit sympathizers who would like to see the dead and the fallen take over this city. Wh who, but who would that be? I. Oh, we're investigating. Uh, the Spark oh, Race Guild has its resources that it can use to figure something like that out, but all of the authorities have been notified and uh, are currently looking into it. Oh if my goodness. If you are someone uh, who... Well, forgive me. Miss Bell Rose, but I happen to know that you have a somewhat checkered past. I I'm aware of you. It's... Someone is probably going to come and talk to you. Well, but wh I was not even there that night. You don't have to convince me, ma'am. And he starts walking down the street. Oh, and he's approaching a, a nice big carriage. Oh, man. Oh, wait, wait, please, just hear me out. Just... Could we just could we not sit down for a bit? I I really have and he pulls out a pocket watch. I really have to be at my next appointment. 
Ay. Ay. Could I ride with you? I would talk to you on the way there. Very well. Come. I'm headed to Brightstone, by the way. Oh, lovely. Yes, uh, it's a beautiful area of town. <laughs> there was, you know, I used to want to live there one day, but <laughs> things have changed. Um. Yes, I understand that you were in an accident. Yes, it was um, unfortunate. You know, it's not right. I don't understand why people keep coming after a, a spark. Right? Ugh. Not us anymore, unfortunately. But I still have a soft spot for the spark rights. And it's not right that people keep targeting us. I, I, it, this is why this concerns me when you mention it. Well, scientific advancement makes people afraid. They are afraid of the new. They're right. afraid to become better. Right. Do you ever wonder if it's coming from within? Ah. Yes, well, I'm aware of why your guild status was revoked. After the accident, you made some accusations. Is that what you're trying to do here? Convince me once again that the Spark Rites were involved in some conspiracy? I'm sorry for what happened no. to your lover. But it was not the Spark Rites' responsibility. Perhaps if certain safeguards had... Forgive me. If certain safeguards had been in place... Well, hindsight is twenty twenty. I only invite a fellow free thinker to make their own judgment calls. You seem intelligent. I think that you should perhaps look within. We wouldn't want anything else to start happening to more Sparkbrite members such as yourself. I think it's time to roll. <laughs> and I don't think you're going to roll the action that you thought you were going to roll. <laughs> I heard Valkos at the back of my mind. <laughs> this is sounding more and more like a threat. <laughs> well, he made you angry. He really did. Oh, yeah. man. Uh... Oh, shit. Um. So, what do you think you're actually rolling now? I have so little on everything else, but uh, could this be Sway? I, I'm gonna... In, in persuading someone of the risk at hand, oh, right? In great. a subtle... Mm. In, in it's not I mean, being said directly. It's the It's the, you know... Valka sways everyone, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> What's left unsaid? Um, yeah, I mean, you can use any action to do anything. I mean, it, it was starting to feel more like command, but you were couching it in, uh, you know, double entendre. You were right. I'm trying to go the uh, more leaning on the intelligence of like you. You can read what I am saying, can't you? You know, without right. having to. Very good. I'll allow sway. I'll allow sway. Okay. Uh, let's see uh, if this reduces your heat. That was a fantastic save. It, what's the position here? Um, this is uh, this is a heat reduction roll, so it doesn't really matter. Just make it controlled okay. for controlled a great then. effect. Yeah. Okay. Do you say great? Yeah, sure. Okay. It'll have the same outcome regardless. Oh, you legend! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Two wow. sixes, baby! Nice. Is that how much it reduces by? Holy shit! Critical? Uh, re reduce Whoa. heat. That is a critical. Um, a critical, you reduce five heat. Amazing. Holy crap! Amazing. Oh, oh hang that out, Valkos has paid off. Fantastic. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, that's a reward for the great role play just yeah. now. Let's um let's take a look and see. That brings okay, your so heat down to let's see we, we to one. To one, right? Down to one, yep. Uh, you got really in his well head. Done. You got in his head. You really <laughs> did. You really did. I believe this is your stop, Miss Belrose. Indeed. I uh 
enjoyed our talk. Yes, I'll take your guidance under advisement. And he shuts the carriage. <sighs> wow. That could have gone really bad, I suppose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know, you know, when you role play, you, uh, you can get into a situation where you suddenly might be rolling uh, not just to reduce heat, but to do other things. So, right. Um, <laughs> and that's okay. We can allow ourselves to do that and still Ooh. reduce heat and all of those things. Fun. But you've done an excellent job. And now we turn to Selyak Khan. Selyak, you still had a second downtime activity coming to you. I have, over all the times that we've ever played, I've never trained before. <laughs> Selyak's, hey. Selyak's going to train. That's hey, a great oh. idea. Did you what? take any harm? Sorry, I was wondering what everyone's harm was at. I'm worried about Celiac is all. Oh, I I had reduced a fair amount of harm, but I think I still may have a little. I mean, or actually I may not. I think well, you got rid cl- of it. I think I got rid quick- of it all. Oh no, you still have, you have a, no, you have a zoned right. out level two harm. I'm uh, still zoned. If you were to get a right. second, if you were to get a second level two harm, okay, you okay. would have a negative dice effect. So, oh, um, hey. Keep that's that in mind. Fine. Keep that. In, you're probably you probably won't. It'll probably be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I say down. train. I want to train. I'm gonna train. I just want to do it for the for the yes to, to try it. Are you where are you gonna train it? Uh, what 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 uh, attribute are you going to train? Okay, I um, I, I think I want to train uh, sway. Sway. Okay, so as shadows, just you, so you know, you get a, you get a bonus to training in prowess. Uh, oh, well, that's interesting. Yeah, you get okay. you, if you train, you'll get two XP instead of one. I want to see Celiax Rocky montage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> taking my bag. But on the other hand, you have the most uh, XP in resolve right now because you rolled right. all those desperate tune rolls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What do you want to that, do? That, that seems good, right? Yeah, you can still do resolve, man. Yeah, that's that's what I want. I want I'm gonna do resolve. Yeah. Okay, so what are you tra- How are you training? What are you working on? Well, as, since I'm saying sway, I think um, I think uh, Celiac from his time in. I don't know that Celiac is was necessarily like past the bar, but I think he was is like like I said like a legal aid or maybe a paralegal at some time to like. To maybe a more n- not like a law firm, but like a civic advocacy, like preservation um, organization that is all about the history of Duskfall and preserving our uh, our um, our historical legacy and keeping these sorts of places. So I think, uh, and I feel like a place like that might be involved with a debate club. And so, in the way that that um, that uh, um, Valkos might hit the bag. Um, Celiac might go and uh, participate in some in some uh, friendly uh, <laughs> Lincoln Douglas debates, like in a in a, in a in a room with a bunch of bunch of other uh, um, mock trial nerds. <laughs> um, well, in fact, if I if I can just refine that just a little bit, I think that, that a preservation society, something that knows about the old architecture of Duskfall, would be the foundation. Which Great. your group has plus one with, what so is- you have gone to one of the foundation's uh, sort of meals that they all have together, uh, and they know you and they're friendly with you, and so you can debate that they definitely debate and they make bets with each other. It's like an old boys club, it's um, like a, a salon, a, boy, a yeah, salon, a gentleman's yes. club, yeah. And in fact, while you're there, go ahead and go ahead and take a point of resolve XP. You can go ahead and oh. do that and bring that up to four. Amazing. Uh, but while you're there. Uh, the foundation actually, they actually um, get to talking about something that catches your ear. Um, they're talking about Rowan House in Six Towers. Uh, and August, a master architect with the foundation, uh, says, uh, Now, I'm telling you, there is a secret entrance into the building. Uh, absolutely. I, I, I'm, I'm sure of it. Uh, and the others are like, uh, no, I mean, Rowan House was built to be impregnable. The the secret entrance is uh, a myth. It's a, it's an old legend. It, well, I know someone who might be able to find out for sure. 
and a couple of them look over at you. <laughs> um. Oh. Please, please, just because um, I, from time to time, dabble in uh, uh, esoteric arts does not mean that uh, by necessity I would know a, a secret ingress into any building that you knew of. No, 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 please, please. Uh, this is August, the Master Architect. I, I'm sure, uh, I'm absolutely sure that uh, the architects of Duskfall uh, riddled it with a labyrinth of tunnels I'm certain, I'm so certain, I'm willing to wager one coin, <laughs> one coin that there is an entrance into Rowan House. Well, how would he even determine if there is one or not? Well, he would use it to enter the house and bring something out that could only come from there. Hmm. And if he's able to do so, why then, I've been proven right. Now, who will take my wager? And a couple people are uh, are are betting uh, on either side that you could or could not be able to do this. I don't know how this makes Selyuk feel. Perhaps yeah. he wanted to be an equal among these gentlemen. And I'm feeling and they are more, not more like a mascot. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, you you did say paralegal, right? Right. Right. Like, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I, but still, it, it it is like, yeah, the hierarchy is like pricks him a little, and also just like the the. In the way that it sort was of like, wouldn't it be funny if 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 so and so did this? It's like, uh huh, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of them are old, but they're acting like a fraternity. Exactly. You know? Do I know anything about Rowan House or what its reputation is aside from being impregnable? Uh, I could read you its uh, its entry in the very easy to uh, follow rule book. Rowan House, one of the last of the original six towers in the neighborhood, six towers. Uh, this antique building resembles an ancient castle from history books, complete with moat, drawbridge, and arrow slit windows. <laughs> the powerful Rowan family rules their holdings from within the fortress, rarely venturing beyond the security of its thick stone walls. So this strange shut-in family uh, dwells in what is essentially a castle. Uh, and these guys think that there's a secret entrance and they're they're betting whether you can get in and steal something out of it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um. You don't have to answer them right now. Yeah, I think that that might just be like like a like hmm, yes. In, we like to say that uh, no matter how impregnable, there is always a way in for uh, the skillful. He's like puffing this like really long like <laughs> slender <laughs> pipe like <laughs> like. Seeing like billows of smoke cascade down his <laughs> down his throat, it's like who knows what um, who knows what treasures could be with it. I will, I will consider, I will consider this offer. You will take this offer, my friend. Trust me, fellows. When next we convene, my good friend Sally Jack will have. <laughs> found oh. the secret entrance and you will owe coin to me. I suppose there is the question of uh, what I would get in return considering I am the person putting his flesh on the line. Get the fuck <laughs> these guys. Sorry. Well, uh, the respect of the foundation is no petty thing. Well, yes, of course. Respect has its value, but uh, how can respect be cashed in? Ah, yes, I've dealt with your type before. I suppose that should we prove all these fellows wrong, well then, I would share a portion of the coin we make with you. Hmm. Um, excellent. Why and, uh, and, um, you're, if, uh, um, hmm? What if you try and get some turf out of it? You know, this the is, foundation. Is, you know? Right, this is what I'm saying. Like, uh, um, um, and what if, uh, and whoever was the person, like, one of the people who bet against me, um, I would like to make it more interesting, perhaps. Um, it seems to me that, uh, what are some of the holdings that, uh, that you might possess? Um, or, or, or I'm even thinking, like, I'm, I'm thinking, like, bumping up the tier of respect, our, like, 
level of influence with this group. Um, so I'm like, uh, you are uh, the vice chairman of this uh, August organization. Would you be willing to place not only coin, but your title on the line? Ahem. <clears throat> so you say that if you can steal some object that um, has uh, undoubtedly come from within Rowan House, that I am supposed to give you the position of vice chairman. Is that correct? <laughs> it would seem to me that there is a world of difference between passing your eye over documents, designing from afar, and being capable of these things, but as well, uh, having real-world application of these uh, rather cerebral arts. It would seem to me that someone uh, capable of these um, various skills would be worthy of such a title, would it not? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'll make the wager more interesting. Unfortunately, you are not qualified to sit in this position as vice chair, but I can throw something in to make it interesting. Hmm. Uh, and I am all ears. He uh, pulls out uh, an ancient map. You see, this is why I know there's no secret entrance into Rowan House. I possess the original schematics. And he uh, puts them down on the table alongside a, a series of keys. And I want to tell you exactly what I'm talking about. One of the upgrades that shadows can get is, uh, is called uh, Underground Maps and Pass Keys. Hello. He goes, if you can find a passage into Rowan House, why then oh. this is useless. These are wrong. Oh. I'll mm. bet these maps and these pass keys that you can't find a way in. <laughs> well, here is hoping for all our sakes that I find them and what you currently possess proves useful enough for you to render it unto me. Um, and I just extend my bony hand <laughs> that look, just looks like a skeleton as it passes by a candle like to shake on it. Uh, yes, and uh, 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 Mr. Bull, uh, who is the vice chairman, shakes your hand. Uh, and uh, August is the guy that originally put you up to this. Okay, great. Um, very well, gentlemen. Until we meet again, gentlemen, ladies, and, um, and uh, trying to muster what pride he can. In <laughs> really, uh, yes. Um, so, uh, you managed to train, uh, in, uh, in insight, I believe, and, uh, I'm oh, sorry, resolve, your resolve, rather. Yeah. Um, and you also, uh, have a lead on a score. Oh, um, that's cool. All right. So, uh, that's, that's on the board. What would everyone like to do next? You're out of downtime activities unless you spend some of the coin to get extra ones. And we know that Valkos is lost somewhere in the city without shoes. Uh, being uh, possessed over and over again by different spirits. Uh, Abu, do you want us to find Valkos? It's up to you. I'm. I'm. I've got no say in this. I am completely <laughs> lost. So. Um. I. I guess I was right. Do you want to? Do you want the the chance to maybe play as Valkos, or do you want to come in as right? Because didn't Jared are you saying he'd have to come in as another character next time? So that's generally how Lost works as a overindulgence. <laughs> okay. um, it says okay. your character vanishes for a few weeks. Play a different character until this one returns from their bender. Wow. That wow. Was it. Uh, yeah. Or we can, shall we, we can try to. <laughs> you can also just go and save him. I think that, uh, I think that we made a, a good point with Lost uh, here. I, I guess I would say I was originally going to do tapped. Your current purveyor cuts you off. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think that once, if you if you were to save Valkos right now, he would know that he shouldn't go to the reconciled. Oh, for this it's sort like an of, intervention. Yes. Yeah. It would be something like that. I don't know, guys. I quite like the idea of trying something new, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's yeah. what I was asking. That's what I'm asking. Okay. Okay. That's, okay. that's great. That's great. Okay. Well then, um, <clears throat> uh, Valkos is missing. 
Hmm? He's not come back, I don't know. He's around doing whatever it is he does with those spirits. <sighs> I'm a little worried. But I know he can handle himself. I can see, you know, in his eyes. That, um... He is hollowing himself. When the spirit comes and goes, it gives of itself and it takes as well. This, right. these, these passings do not come with and without consequence. I believe our friend Mr. Welkos is perhaps being poured out from within. If he persists in his course, there shall be very little of what was once there. I've seen it happen before. Well, uh, we... Hmm. When he returns, then, um, perhaps we should uh, sit down and have a talk with him about this. Perhaps. As these, these sorts of things should only be conducted with the most precise ritual um, supervision, especially if we are to have him be the sanctified and prepared vessel. And he pulls out your locket for your late lamented of him. Right. I, would not, I would not wish him to despoil his material before this no. reconciliation can I be don't, brought to fruition. I would not want to break Valkos in this process either. Hmm. <sighs> um, okay, well, he's you not have, here. If, if I may, you have, yeah. you have options for your next score, and you know right. you're going to have to move on some of them soon. Uh, although, uh, I'm keeping the timeline expressly vague, so you do still have a choice. Okay. Yeah. The demon want, wanted you to do something for it, Right. I, um, there's also uh, Flint, a spirit trafficker who is him. selling. He's he's mm -hmm. selling to the Path of Echoes, who are your patron, uh -huh. and uh, making money from them that should rightly be yours. You were talking about offing him, and then there's uh -huh. also the offer uh, to go and explore the underground of Duskfall and break into Rowan House. Right. Um, okay. So, uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking demon, um, but I could be I, I could be swayed. I, I think I think it would be unwise and you know cruel for us to partake of um, the taking of a life without Valkos there to enjoy. Yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> who, who am I to deprive my friend of uh, exactly one of life's more rarefied pleasures? Yes, and and perhaps it would remind him, you know, sort of ground him once more in his own flesh to do something mm. like that together when he joins us once more. Um. So you've decided then you're going to, uh, do you remember what the mission was exactly? Wait, it was no, no, no. Steal, a char steal a charm from Inspector oh, yes. Kin Kinclaith. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. That's right. Um, you're going to have to recruit someone to help you though, because going with yeah. just two crew right. members isn't a good idea. Why don't we bring up a new character sheet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we're going to need help. We are. Yes. Yeah, um... <clears throat> Who do you know? Uh, or, or rather, I should ask Abu. Who do they know? Um. Hmm. Do you want to be a student? A student? <laughs> what have we called on one of the students? Oh, man. Oh, that's interesting. That yeah. is interesting. We know students. We know... Uh, uh, our, we know uh, a collector of fits. Architectural know, aficionados. Uh, uh, I mean, we, we could know, know anyone, really. Yeah, we know I, other. I grew up weirdos. here, so it could yeah. be very wide. So wait, what is the next? What is the next uh, job? You're going um, to steal a charm from an inspector uh, because the demon has commanded you do this, or it will uh, pay you in blood. Mm hmm. Maybe then. But oof. Mm. Go on. Go you on. Want, you you want to do? You don't want to Rowan house it? I'm. I could Rowan house it. 
Underground maps and pass keys. Imagine what that would open up in our ability to then oh. reach. Celiac is, of course, like incredibly Inspectors. fascinated by that yeah. on its own sake. Not um, the, the, no, the no, pride no, we, of we it. Could, you know here. what? There's a demon lurking. We should probably just get. We should probably deal with the demon. Yeah. Okay. There's a demon. So. Then. You have to choose a new playbook, and that is the person they're going to draw into this job. Are you going to be a hound? I'm going to be a Hounds hound. Are, oh, you Ooh. are. You've already decided. <laughs> wow. Be a hound. Excellent. Okay. Ooh. Tracker Interesting. and sharpshooter. Mm. Yeah. A tracker mm. and sharpshooter. They start out with two in hunt, one in survey. Mm. Um, and uh, what is this hound's name? Let's call him... Chuck. <laughs> oh, you know Chuck, right? Said yes. <laughs> Just checking. Are we sure we want to go with Chuck? <laughs> they call me Chuck. I love. This is. I mean, it's. It's like people were joking about Dune that there's characters like named. <laughs> yeah, there's Harkonnen. Definitely, definitely Chuck. Uh, Chani, Stilgar, Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Beverly Chuck? No, they oh. call me Chuck. <laughs> yes, of course I know Chuck. Yes, we should this call on is Chuck. Who I am? Chuck, uh, Chuck, uh, what is your heritage? Are you from Akaros, the Dagger Isles, Aruvia, Severos? Remind Skull? me again where Aruvia? What's Aruvia? Aruvia is a, an exotic land. Um, it sort of has a, a bit of a, a Persian or South Asian feel to it. Um, mm. Incredible swordsmen come from Aruvia. Uh, the mm. Red Sashes, they're called. Um, and it's a desert kingdom. And the Taikorosi? The Taikorosi are like uh, Celiac, and there could definitely My be folks. two Taikorosi here. Uh, that's allowed. Um, they yeah. each have, uh, they're from far across the sea, and they each have some strange feature that shows that they are demon blooded. Taikorosi. Great. Chuck the Taikorosi. <laughs> I know Chuck. Um, Yes. He goes by Chuck because, of course, his name in our tongue uh, for most uh, people in Duskwall is unpronounceable. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, he is Chuck. Chuck, Chuck is he. What is his, uh, what is his Taikorosi feature? I think he has, um, his, the bottom, the bottom element here is just missing. So <laughs> you can just see the top lip and then the bottom of his tooth is just like... <laughs> So he he has no bottom he he's no missing bottom the, lip, no bottom lip. Great, right. nope. love it. Uh, that's that's really strange. Okay, <laughs> um, now is he an academic? Is he from academia, labor, law, trade, military? Is he a noble or is he have an underworld background? I think he's labor. I think he's very like, and labor is hard work, right? That's right. Yeah. yeah um, what kind of a, labor did he do? I think he was uh, because of the fact because I, I get a pet right as a hunt as as a as a hound right. Do I get a pet? I yeah. think you have to choose it as a, a, a special ability. Right. So I could I think, be wrong. I think I you know it was it was like you know dealing with 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 I don't know mutts or or, or horrible creatures um, as part of the uh, as part of the thing which was hard labor in itself. Hence why I'm missing a lip because one bit. My the bottom of my lip and just ripped it off, and that's why uh, I look the way I do. I'm gonna just write down animal handler. Mm -hmm. um, there we go. And, and uh, rat oh, Wow, what kind of vice does he have? I think his vice is a uh, is greed. Is it greed? Can you get greed? Luxury. Well, he could he could have gambling or luxury. You want luxury? Yeah, I think luxury. He he enjoys eating and feasting, and you can see the. The food coming out from underneath his <laughs> mouth as he does so. Mm -hmm. But Chuck is always down for a good time. I do remember that. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, you never forget the night with Chuck. No, <laughs> never. You can't. It's so disgusting. It burns itself <laughs> into your brain. Um, so uh, now uh, you can pick four uh, uh, places to put four dots. The fir first dot needs to be connected to your Taikorosi heritage. Okay. The second dot needs to be connected to your labor background. Okay. So the first one then would be, it would be a tune mm -hmm. because of Taikorosi. Mm -hmm. 
And then the second would be finesse because right. of the, uh, the, the sense of work with hands. Yes, so. absolutely. And then you get two more dots that can go anywhere you'd like. Mm. The team are going to need some good help, right? What do you guys think? Where, why would you have chosen oh, Chuck? Man. Um, for a, oh, what we don't have, I guess, is prowling or or consorting. Those are the two as I don't know. We're gonna be pickpocketing it or pickpocketing or whatever else. A, an inspector, right? We need yeah, <sighs> yeah, ste- steely, skulky. Yeah, maybe um, prowl. Let's do prowl. Like, yeah, prowl. Yeah, and can I do another one in prowl again? Yeah, you can do two in prowl. Two in prowl. There we go. Very good. Finally, okay. we've got a, a lurker. Yeah. Um, and, and I see now a trained hunting pet is part of your equipment, actually, not a special ability. So oh. anytime you want your trained hunting pet uh, to help you, you just uh, you just tick it off in your loadout. Uh, right. What is his trained hunting pet? You want to decide what it is? Oh, what pets can I have? I mean, uh, any small animal, I'm not going to allow you to have a mammoth or a dragon <laughs> or something like that. But. I was thinking like a like a... I don't know, like a like a German Shepherd. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like a beautiful German Shepherd. What's What's the name? Muck. <gasps> Chuck and Muck. Chuck and Muck. How could we forget muck. about Muck? <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Chuck and Muck together, priceless. Um, in this world, though, it's it's not a German Shepherd. Uh, this dog is a. Let me see. I'm gonna make this up on the fly because that's how good of a GM I am, and I'm just, <laughs> I'm just stalling for a second to say that this is a Coalfield, uh, a Coalfield uh, pouncer. Great. Um, it Great. hails from Severos, a Coalfield pouncer. Um, Great. I'm writing that down. It's only gonna be important to me and never get mentioned again. Okay. <laughs> um, so uh, your Coalfield pouncer muck is with you. And you also, now just need... Oh, yes. The the trained hunting pet is in italics, so it doesn't count for your load, actually. Oh, amazing. So it Go will ahead. not count for your load each time. You can always take muck with you. <clears throat> and uh, you need to now choose a special ability. So if you look at the uh, the hound special abilities, mm. oh, uh, I, 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 while you're looking at them, I'm just going to let everybody who's just listening know that uh, our hound, Chuck, has a hunt of two, a survey of one, a finesse of one, two prowl, and a point of a tune. Um, I think that makes him fit really well into the remnant. And uh, because he is a member of our crew, would he also get the benefit from our <gasps> everyone steals ability, so that they could, so that Chuck can add one point to prowl, finesse, or tinker? That is correct. What would you like to right. add to Chuck and prowl? Yes! Uh, Finally! No Chuck is and a then, master prowler. Not a and, master, but a very high level and I prowler. I think he's he's a ghost hunter. So your hunting mm. pet is imbued with spirit energy. Ooh. Gains potency when tracking or fighting the supernatural. And I think that can be useful. And it's not in the sense that he might kill supernatural. He's just very good at finding them. Mm-hmm. I had thought that at, at times, uh, if things become desperate, uh, Miss Juliet, Yes. Ophelia could not be found by uh, means of attunement, and perhaps a more practiced hand could take a more aggressive approach. In times like this, when spirits must be uh, found in this way, a hunter is required. And at times like this, this is when Celia calls upon the services of Chuck. Oh, Chuck. How we will need you. (laughs) Um, and so uh, we have come to the end of our time but I think that the final (laughs) thing that happens is that Chuck enters the hidden grotto uh, uh, to rendezvous with both Juliet and Selyak and Chuck says you called upon me Chuck I am here to help whatever you wish uh, and so uh, we will see a score with a new character uh, <laughs> next week uh, when you tune in to 
Haunted City. What a ride. Uh, you never know when you're going to have to roll up a new character in the old Blades in the Dark, but we have Chuck and Muck on our side now. Thank you to Ross Bryant, Abu Salim, and Josephine McAdam for being <laughs> awesome as usual. This is such a fun game. It's I so am fun. loving this. It's I feel so like excited. the crew is really coming together now. We're learning things about them, and it's getting really exciting. Um, I love I love Valco's little 50 Blades of Dark moments <laughs> today. Just cool. <laughs> he indulged the hell out of that vice. Um, oh, yeah. Wow. That's our show. We will see you next week. Until next time, uh, happy hunting. Bye-bye.